safe water parameters for betta fish. Let's, let's talk about this a little bit. To have water safe for your betta fish, you need to have water conditioner. And it's a small product that comes in a little tiny bottle that's sold at all pet fish stores and all Walmarts and everything. Basic conditioner, what it does is it dechlorinates the water for the betta fish. And uh, you can also set the water in a bucket for 24 hours and it dechlorinates on itself, but that's a long, tidy process. So uh, if water is coming out of your faucet of your apartment or your home, unless you are on a special water setup towards coming straight out of the ground and there's no chlorine or such coming through it, you will need water conditioner. And if you're unsure, I would advise just using water conditioner anyways because it's the safest route. Um, so, water conditioner. On, on the back of the bottle, it's going to have directions. It's going to say, for every gallon of water you have in your aquarium, you need to add four drops of this um, water conditioner, and it's going to make it safe. And when you do water changes, um, when I, for example, when I do a 20% water change and I take out this much water, um, when I add the new water in, I have to, I have to wa put water conditioner inside the new water before I put it in, just because... That's the proper way to do it, and it's the safest for the fish. So uh, hopefully that can help answer the question on safe water parameters for betta fish. Um, some people mess around with uh, these little bottles you buy in, in the store, and they sell them. And uh, it's really not needed if you have water conditioner. And uh, betta fish are pretty, pretty hardy fish as far as water. And uh, as long as the conditioner's in there, it's going to be fine. So... Uh, Again, I'm Chris. I'm uh, you can be f I can be found. My personal blog is uh, at betafishcaretaker.com, and uh, you can subscribe. I got tons of other fish videos around here. So uh, yeah, cool, cool. All right, thanks, guys.